What is up guys, it's Kate up here and I know that I have been away for a while just not making video, be very silent for a while but I'm back now, I have some other ideas for content, I know what to make and in this video um, I'm gonna make a series about you know why UI and UX is good, uh, a good career to get into and this is the first video. Um, so this video I'm gonna talk about like why UI and UX designer get paid so much, right? The money aspect of thing, like why UI and UX designer usually get paid more than the other type of uh, graphic design category. And it's not hard to find that if you could do a search on Google or on just Angel.co, right? It's not hard to find that, you know, people are pay, like UI and UX designers are pay over $100,000, $200,000, or even like $500,000 uh, for a UI and UX designer role. I made a video before uh, to talk about you know Google are hiring a staff designer for over five hundred thousand dollars. So, why does a UI and UX designer get paid so much? And right now, when you think about the salary side of things, right, you have to think about what does that role, what does that person worth to your business, right? So, for a web designers, if you're working for let's say McDonald's and McDonald's hire you as a web designer, what what would you be doing, right? You will probably be doing, you know, helping McDonald's to update their website, to update the marketing materials, creating new graphic for the website, you know, helping with the social media posts and all this kind of thing, right? But can McDonald's still sell burger without, you know, your help to update the website and stuff? Probably, right? They can still function because you're not touching the core part of McDonald's business. And now when you think about, let's say, an, an illustrator, right? So you're creating illustration for uh, maybe newspaper, maybe magazine, maybe like a, a website, right? But can that website live without illustration? Can people still tell the concept without illustration? And now when you think about that, right? Illustration become a thing to just supplementary to the core part of that business just to make something even better, right? But in a market downturn and company don't have money, then they don't need this kind of thing to make the business look a little better. So I would say that, you know, a lot of type of designers, they're not a necessity to your business. And that is especially true, right? Like from where I'm from, I'm from Hong Kong and designers are treated very poorly in Hong Kong because, you know, Hong Kong is a financial center, financial district, and a lot of financial company and designers is just not a thing that can help them to make more business. It's a good to have thing, but I don't need it if I don't need to, right? So it's not a necessity. But now when you think about on contrary for UI and UX designer, what is a UI and UX designer, right? UI and UX designer build products and build SaaS product. And for SaaS company, right? SaaS is software as a service. So S-A-A-S, right? Software as a service company. And this company can be, you know, Facebook, Google, um, Airbnb, Uber, and these are the software as a service company, right? And this company make a ton of money. Why? Because, you know, how much time are you spending on your screen every single day, computer, mobile phone, and that's where the money is at. And when they make a lot of money, and right now when you even think about, right, can there be Facebook, can there be Google without a UI and UI designer? No, right? There is need to be a UI and UI designer to help them to build the products. Facebook, UI and UI designer build that Facebook. UI and UI designer build a Google, right? Like search engine, if you go to Google, very simple, only a search bar, and there's a lot of UX code behind that concept, right? Why is there only a search bar? So because of that search bar, right, Google become Google, and Google become very popular. So basically, Google, Facebook make a ton of money because of good design from UI and UX designer, and your role, your work, directly connecting to the core part of the business, and without your work, that business cannot function, cannot make money. So you are definitely a necessity of that business. And your contribution is very easily calculated. Let's say, for example, if you're working for a startup and they have, they're struggling with revenue, right? They're struggling with, let's say, 10 customers per, per, per month. But right now, because of work, because you help them to improve the onboarding flow, people can onboard the platform a lot easier. The sign-up rate is going up. Uh, from like 10 user, maybe to 100 user to 1,000 users. So your contribution is directly directly reflected to the business. And when they see revenue going from like $10,000 to a million dollars, right? It's very easy to see how much you're worth as a UI and UX designer. And your contribution means a lot. And you are very, very, very important to a SaaS company. You can really make or break a SaaS company. So 
that's why when you're very important and businesses generally pay a lot more money for a good designers to help them to bring the business to the next level and that is exactly what you will see in a lot of job posts as well they would just say that you know as a UI and UX designer in the company I want you to bring my business to the next level and that is the power that you're gonna have as a UI and UX designers and when you're so important it's very easy to demand higher pay and that's why people are really fighting for good designers and it's just great feeling, a great feeling to feel that you're so important to your business and that's why I love to be a UI and UX designer because I feel great when people are depending on my work and my work means a lot to somebody. So that's why I feel great about it and if you want to feel important, definitely think about getting into UI and UX and that is what for this first video, you know, the money aspects of why you should get into UI and UX and stuff like that. And if you like the content, if you think it makes sense, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up and follow me on the social media links down below as well. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.